Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I want to cover my update with Bitscap and I want also to show you how you can properly set up your bots. I've been getting a lot of questions and I know it, it can be uh, very confusing sometimes. Uh, so I'll try on this video to explain you the best I can how you can set up a proper bot. All right, so let's start. So personally, when I'm using Bitscap, um, it's because I want to accumulate more coin. So the three coin that I really like or the three coin that I want to keep for long term are Bitcoin, Ethereum and BNB, the Binance coin. So as you will see, I will always trade using those three coin. I'll never use any uh, US dollar or any fiat dollar to trade against my coin because I want to accumulate more of those coin. But if your goal is to make more money, well, you can use your quote currency as a, let's say, USDT uh, or US dollar to so the profit will be generated in US dollar. But in my case, I use it to accumulate. I'll put the link up here so you can click on it. It will give you a basic introduction of what is Bitscap exactly. The way I use Bitscap, like I said, I always trade against the three coin I prefer. So it will be BNB, BTC or ETH. As you can see right now, I have two bots open and the two I have right here. So the quote currency, so the coin that I want to accumulate for this one is BNB and this one is BTC. So I'm using XLM to increase my BNB and I'm using HANT to increase my BTC. So as you can see with my BTC right here, I start this bot four days ago. So the bot has generated 11.36%. So basically 0.00072 uh, Bitcoin. And in US value, this represents $41. But the US value, I don't really care. What I'm looking for is this number right here. But because of the actual value of HANT, the change, so the total change would be 7.35%. What that means is if I sell the balance I currently have right now with this bot, so the, the hand balance, and I sell it back in BTC, well, my total change for this trade will be 7.35%. Same thing with XLM. I only started this bot six hours ago, so this one is pretty recent. And so far, I made 0 0.013 BNB in profit, which would represent five US dollar in profit. But because of XLM drop in the last couple hours, which is fine, I don't mind. Um, the actual value right now, if I would sell my current XLM holding back in BNB, well, I would be 2.4% negative. So as we can see, I start this bot right here and it dropped a little bit and it's currently sitting right here, but that's fine. The way a grid bot work, you need volatility up and down like this to make profit. So the more volatility it has, the more profit you will make over here. So this, it's all good. If you're ready to close your bot, you can close it whenever you want, or you can ask a bit, uh, Bitscap to close uh, at profit or at break even if you want. So you can go here, uh, sell the market price. So if you want to sell it right now, place a sell a limit order at the break even price, or you can uh, cancel all open orders. That's something I do very frequently. Let me show you an example. Let's say I did a trade and it was very negative. So let's say this one right here. Um, so I did open a bot BNB BTT um, and my change after 10 hours on that bot was 11% negative. So what I did, I just closed the bot. I didn't sell any of my BTT. So when you're just closing the bot, you're not losing any money. You keep this portion right here, but this portion, it doesn't count because I just closed the bot. So what I do, 
I just real well actually it closed by a stop loss. But what I do, I reopen it again with the same and I start over. Hopefully, uh, if I think it will go back, hopefully uh, I can regain my profit. And in that case, it did happen. So I did uh, a good 21% on that same uh, token pair. So I did my profit back. And I just realized by showing you <laughs> my trade, I just closed one, which is okay. I will uh, reopen it. It's all fine. But as we can see right now, I have one left. So my Ant BTC at 6.89% uh, for the last four days. But my bot profit is right here. So I have increased my BTC bag uh, by 0 0.007 uh, BTC right now. So let me show you how I pick a, a coin pair when I want to make profit. And by the way, I started BitGap uh, just a month ago with about $1,400. And right now, uh, I'm currently sitting at uh, almost $2,900. So for the last month, uh, let's say if I can find it here. Yeah, so I did uh, $1,600 in profit. Uh, that's almost double and it's even more than double uh, in one month uh, profit, which is uh, excellent. It's very good. Even though I do have some negative here and there, um, overall, because I'm not trading in US dollar and all the coin I'm using, especially BNB, has been increasing quite a lot in the last uh, couple of weeks and month. Uh, it does help a lot as my value right here. So let me show you how I choose my pair when I want to trade. First of all, you want a coin or a pair that didn't go too high in the last couple of days. Sometimes will happen, some altcoin will start to pump and then they will dump a couple of days after. So you don't want to use any of those coins because if you're currently looking at a coin that it's pumping really hard, well, you know, it will probably go down in the next couple of days. Uh, so we have to be careful with, the, with those. What I would do, I would come right here for, to find a good suggested a, uh, strategy. So in my case, since I want to accumulate more Binance coin, I will type BNB. If you want to accumulate just money, if you want to make more money, well, you would just type USD. Uh, T or USD depending on what exchange you're setting and then you can find something from there but in my case it would be BNB and then I will look at the list if there's any coin that I know of or that I'm confident that will uh, increase in the next couple days um, I'll have a look and see what's good right here so there's a few good that I could use so usually first of all I'll, I'll start with three days I'll look out they were performing in the last three days and let's say I look at um, let's see hot right here and let's look seven for the last three days what seven percent so let's look for this last week hot did 14.85 percent so let's click on it and look at the graph to see if it was not a pair that has a major pump in the last couple of days and in that in this case right here it's not really the case yes it there was a big increase but the price did came back over here and as we can see it start to move up a little bit so basically what we're looking for is to find a coin that would have a good volatility when the coin only go flat like this it's not really good the bot don't really like that because they cannot do as much trade so you're looking with a good volatility so that could be one that could be interesting let's see if i can find another one let's go back to the three days um let's see ogn let's look at this one see that would be a very good also coin that i could take so it has good volatility it didn't pump um, in the last couple days, so it's going sideways. So I think that would be a good coin. And as I can see, it's been dropping in the last couple hours. And I don't know if it did find support over here, it looked like. 
Uh, so that could be a good coin that I could enter position in. So let's try this one. So let's go, I'll go take a look how much BNB I have right now. So I have available, so as you can see, anything in trade, in bot, will be right here. So right now I have $110 used for my bot. And hand, I have $241. But all this is would be available if I want to use it. So I have uh, $600 in BNB. So let's do this. So let's go back to my bot. And let's go take OGN, BNB. And then from there, I will adjust my grid accordingly. So for sure, I cannot use this specific configuration because it's asking me 17 BNB, which I don't have. So I need to decrease this and I'll increase this right here. And my grid step, I will need also to increase it. So let's make it 0.95%. Let's see how it is. So this box right here is still in red and it's telling me my balance is not high enough. So I need to change this again. So let's try to reduce that. And let's try to increase my grid. Change this. So with those pair, my grid would be pretty small. So I have, if I want to increase the grid, I can increase the percentage here. And then I can put the grid a little bit wider. But at 1.5, I had to make sure that my bot will still be able to take a good trade. So I am currently on the 15 minute candle. So one candle represents 15 minutes. So it would be one, two, three trade right here, two right here, three right here. So every 15 minute, there would be good trade that would be taken. So that would be a good setup that I could start with. And I make sure that I put the trailing uh, trailing hop right here. So if the price start to go up, the grid will follow. Is the if the grid start to go down, well, it will stop uh, trading once it get below the grid. So the grid won't go down; it will stay there. So I'll put my stop loss. So same thing, the stop loss I can adjust it wherever I want. So let's say I put my stop loss just where the last grid is right here and that's it so I can do a back test to double check so in the last three days would be 15% 35 on the last seven days and 151% for the last 30 days then again that's in the past it doesn't mean it will happen in the future but it could give you a, a, an idea if uh, what kind of performance you would be getting. So if I'm happy with this, I could just click on the start. So it's telling me that I will buy uh, some OGN coin. And that's it. So the bot is started. So at this point, all the profit will be in BNB. So at any point I can stop it, I can restart it if I want. If I see the price go below here, well, there's the stop loss will kick in. So the, the bot will stop by itself. Um, and then I can just start another one and keep going like that. And that's what I've been doing for a month. And I've been making quite good profit for the last couple of weeks. So once in a while, I go back to my trading. I look at the available balance. So right now, like I said, while I was uh, talking to you, while I was 
showing you exactly I sold all my uh, XLM bots so I have hundred seven hundred thirty five dollar available right here in XLM so I will probably start another bot with XLM I'll see or I could probably uh, just wait to see if it would go back so let's see the current US value so as we can see the XLM has been going up for the last day so I might as well wait a little bit to see if I can sell it a little bit higher or I could just sell it right away in BNB or BTC. So I would go here, click on it, and then I could sell in BNB or I can sell my XLM in BTC, depending what I want. I would probably sell it in BNB again. And then from there, I just go, I select market, sell, sell XLM. So I would select 100%. So it would sell all the 1424 I have on balance right here. I click sell and they would be transferred in BNB. So that's the way it goes. That's the way it works. I know sometimes it could be very confusing, but personally, I really like Bitsgap for uh, accumulating more coin. I have other platforms that I use to make more money, make more profit, but I really like Bitsgap to increase my coin bag. So. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. If you did like this video, well, I would appreciate a like or a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and, it, and you don't want to miss any of my future video, well, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.